Hello everybody, I thought today I would show you just a very quick clip of how to thread up a vintage Singer. Now this is a Singer 201, so I'll quickly show you how to wind the bobbin, how to thread the machine. It's very, very simple, so you don't need to be scared of this. First of all, we'll wind the bobbin. So we're gonna go round there, we're gonna take the bobbin, wrap a bit of thread round it a few times, just to lock it on there turn the wheel till the hole locates in the peg just in there very important otherwise it doesn't clip on properly then push it down and then round there then i take the slack up off the thread release the hand wheel i drop the foot here that allows the machine to turn without the whole machine turning and i always gently keep my finger on the top of the reel of thread and then I wind the bobbin. Now if the bobbin's winding slightly crooked here, you can just guide it with your finger. So if it's winding all over to one side, you can just gu guide it with your finger so you get a roughly nice wound bobbin. Unclip that, take that off. Now these are metal bobbins, but the Singer 201, 99, 66, they all use the same bobbin. Now we're going to drop it into, this is the phenomenal rotary hook of the 201. This is what makes it so superbly quiet. But we drop it in there. Now I like the bobbin on this machine to turn clockwise. You see that turning clockwise? Then I put my finger on it, pull it round, and through that little groove there. And that's the tensioning spring. Now that is the bottom finish. And you can see on the 201, there's a little gap in the plate. Can you see that little gap there? That's to allow that thread just to sit gently over the side. Now, top of the machine, very, very easy. Lift the presser foot. The reason you lift the presser foot is because that releases, all the 201s have an automatic tension release. As soon as the foot raises, it opens up the two discs there. Then you go round. Now, this is very important. I hold my finger on the thread there, bring that round in a U shape, and I'll just go quiet, just listen for the little click. Did you hear that little click? I'll just do that again because it's really important. That little click is the tension spring locating there. Very, very straightforward. Third time, there we go. And that means it goes round there and round the take-up spring. And now we're going to the take-up lever. So through the take-up lever and then down and then you have a thread guide there. On the later 201, this is just a post-war Singer 201. This is the beautiful cast iron one. Look how worn this is. This is worn right through the Japaning down to the basic, what they call the pig iron. This came out of the Kilboe factory. And then you've got a little thread guide there. Then you've got a little thread guide there. Now that's the top of the machine threaded up. And I'm going to show you now about putting the needle in. Interestingly, on the Singer 201, the same as the 221, the same as the 222, the same as some Singer 15s, and same as some Alpha machines, the flat side of the needle goes to the outside of the machine. Flat side, outside. That's really, really important. There's very few machines that the needle goes with the flat side that way. And because the flat side is that way, you thread it from your right to your left. So now we're going to thread the needle up, if I can see it, always cut. When you're threading the needle, I find if you cut it at a slight angle, that can, can help quite a lot. And then we're going to thread it up through the eye of the needle. And now we're going to turn the hand wheel there towards you and gently holding onto the thread by the needle and pick the stitch up. And now you see why that gap is in the plate. You see, it's just pulling through the plate there, so easy. Get it out of the machine, get about six inches of thread out, pick up a bit of fabric underneath. Now, I again, I always turn the hand wheel down to this point there so that the first movement of the machine is down and it's going down through the work and out and we're going to start to sew. On the 201, the controls are so simple, it's unbelievable. You've got stitch length there. So you've got forwards, backwards, that's it. And there are some numbers, they're worn out on this one, but the numbers are stitches per inch. 
And so there you go, that's your machine. And just listen to how quiet the 201 is. I'm always going on about how fantastically quiet the 201 is. But it's whisper quiet, isn't it? I mean, that's making more noise than that. And absolutely fantastic. And this machine has got a new motor on it, which means it will go over a thousand stitches per inch. And that's how simple it is. And I hope you found that useful. Bye for now.